Hi, good morning. Hello. Good morning. I'm about to actually get started because I was grabbing water from a thirsty ass and chasing out cats that do not live in here after the doors close and chasing in cats that do. Uh, you're awfully interesting, Emily. I'm going to you over here. Oh, that's my phone. I dropped my marker. Yep. I still haven't bought new markers. I just hope that this one doesn't decide to die on me again. <laughs> Muko Ikusada. <laughs> what? Muko Ikusada, the 16th student. Lying hidden somewhere in this school. Do I have the volume up louder than I usually do? Or is it my headset? Uh, ooh. With bad ends, there is a 50 50 shot that even if it's a joke one, I will get it on accident. Okay, you don't want to be a gamer. Take a nap then. Don't talk to my stuff. You've been out and running around. Oh, oh fuck food. Hold on. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. She wasn't in here to pester me while uh, I was setting up for the stream, so I almost forgot to feed sushi until after the stream. I don't think she would have been happy with me. Oh, alright. To one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. <laughs> I remember to feed her, don't worry. Usually, while I'm trying to set up for my stream, she's like in between me and the computer. So it's easy to remember, but I think she was sidetracked today. Uh, the other lab assistant brought, lab assistants brought in like all of the indoor, all the outdoor plants to be indoor plants for the winter so that they don't freeze. To be fair, I don't know if they're supposed to be outdoor plants in the first place. They just are. I don't... I'm not good with plants. So, uh, Sushi has been entertaining herself quite well trying to destroy them. But yeah. Coco told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Are we just gonna have a three fucking day skip here? Three days before we will be faced with another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. I, I, um, I need an explanation for what I was looking at. But you guys, Kyoko, pretty. <laughs> Aww. Uh, the cat that I have to keep shooing out of here because she does not live in here after the door is closed uh, does that kind of stuff to the other lab assistants. Uh, her previous owner uh, spoiled her quite a bit and would like wake up the moment that she started batting at her face. 
the theater. And that would happen at like 5.45, 6 o'clock in the morning. So now the other lab assistant has been like, spent, has spent the past like three years breaking her of that habit. <laughs> and now she does it at 9 in the morning instead. So glad I sleep with my door closed because I don't think I could handle getting woke up at nine o'clock in the morning by cat crawls. See if she at least waits until almost ten before she attacks my feet. <laughs> in the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall, there's so many like time related details there, dude. <laughs> I know his weakness. I don't have a simp for him. I have to exploit him. <laughs> so let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. We have them? Oh, is that- Is the time that we spend after the trial just like the post-trial investigation? <laughs> make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Well, he's not wrong. It's like, he does get straight to the point. It's everyone else that doesn't. Well, him and Kyoko get straight to the point. Everyone else waffles around. Remember to refill my water bottle before starting the stream. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well, he just acts like this to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyway. I don't think you're supposed to say that like out loud in front of the person that you're talking about. <laughs> Regardless. If you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is a bloated cat is as bloated as a cow's udder. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Hey, hey Coco, you're pretty you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. <laughs> Hero, have you considered that it's morning time and you're talking too much for that? Because I'm pretty sure Coco's considering that. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was, in fact. <laughs> her talking making, makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. I don't care. And you're okay with that, Toko? Mm. <laughs> Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this small talk, yeah. <laughs> I believe this is the small talk Yakia war war mm, warned us against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. I think I just like the mic. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me to your level again. <laughs> That's what you think, motherfucker. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Uh, pressured by an obviously irritated Byakuya, we all started our exploration.
Hey, Mr. Krabs, where are you? Oh, there's no one in this hallway for once. Um. Hello. Wait, I don't see any new areas. I didn't intend to steal more more for Yakuya, you or Taco. Um, uh, uh, Taco? Question mark? Possibly. I don't know. Taco shows it more. So I'm gonna say she steals it. Or at least I think she does. right here. Were there stairs on this floor? No. How many floors does this school have? There were stairs! I see you, Sushi. Like, what are you doing? So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has opened up to us. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason it feels unpleasant. I don't know, this is... Don't know what sushi just knocked off, but she's playing with it so she can entertain herself. This floor looks pretty nice. This room looks like a brat saw threw up in it. Yeah, so many stairs. Is there no elevator? Um, um, uh, what? <laughs> it's certainly something. You know what? You can stay there, just don't push things around, okay? Hi, Doko. <laughs> the boards have progressively gotten a bit more um interesting hmm? huh? does she want to talk to me about something Toko what's wrong you <laughs> Not only, and not only are there so many stairs, the stairs are all on opposite sides of the school. Yeah, you have to like, you know, you have to like zigzag your way out there. Oh, there's other rooms back there. Ah! I have like a shit ton of yarn on the futon right now. Because I uh, spent a good hunk of my day crocheting. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, another reason why I was uh, almost late was because, um, you know that 
you know that uh that crochet pattern that I mentioned that I got? I was making one. And it's so cute and tiny. It was like Yeah, it does seem like terrible planning for a high class school like that. Also, Makoto. Why do you think Toko's gonna respond to you? She is following Mr. Crab's orders to the fucking T. <laughs> Rip if there's a fire, absolutely. Uh, is she trying to say something? I think she's almost just a little more and I might get it. <laughs> no, you're gonna get murdered, motherfucker. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. <laughs> Here it comes. Just, she just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. Give me a minute. I'm going to go hunt down Mr. Krabs and drag him over here so that he can get you to talk. Is he in the girl some chalk? Yeah, he, he didn't say that she couldn't, like, write things down. Hi, Hina! I'm so glad you didn't actually let us all get murdered last time. Although I cannot blame you. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Uh huh. What's this door? This oh, it's another classroom. It's the most classrooms I think I've seen on this floor. Well, I found Mr. Krabs, and I have many questions. <laughs> I love the planning and manipulation skills. Just please don't do something like that again. Yeah. Mr. Krabs, what did you do? <laughs> I want to know the same thing. What the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled? The, it was sour. Pungent. Impossibly rank. Mm, it smells awful, doesn't it? It, it... It must be at least vaguely familiar to you, after all. You've been around your fair share of corpses. The blood cannot think. So is it actually blood? Are you saying... It's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice. No shock. I don't know why you were expecting that, Makoto. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. But, he was, but the smell here is strong. Condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... What? My fault again? Oh, oh. <laughs> Do you think a genius is someone to tell someone to die here? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit obvious. I mean, I don't know... For sure, but it might be all the blood splatters or all the chalk outlines. Might have, might have clued me in. Stop trying to blame everything on me. It, it, if you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. I'm being no, 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 it's quite the opposite. Is this the event that the school, that all the school files talk about? Yeah. The opposite? Now then. Yep. Let me give you an itty bitty easy, itty easy squeegee little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. Don't that for a hint. Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait. So I it's can't. not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd be a bit more concerned if everybody made it out of this alive, too. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? I mean, what's the meaning of all this? There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen all kinds of- I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. Nope, quit playing with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna to, The class trial's over, he's got to have, like, a cooldown period. You can stay up there, but I think you got to mess with things. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. <laughs> Let's see, how many bodies were in this room, actually? Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight. I'll come back to you in a minute, sir. I guess I'll come back to you now, damn it. Um, Jackson? About what Monokuma just told us. Mm. Look, I'm not even here. He must have lost some thought. Is he really thinking that hard, or is he just flat out ignoring me? I know which one I would like it to be. Well, uh, have fun with your- I don't think I've seen everything there is to see. What do you mean? I- <laughs> this is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. It seems pretty useless when he's not on it. Actually, no, it's totally useless no matter what. Oh, fact he was upgraded. I want to touch the hands. I want- I want to know what he says about the hands. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does a place like this, does this place have, anyway? Oh, really? Now you acknowledge the fucking cameras that are watching you all the time when you've tried to have, like, personal conversations that should not be, uh recorded several times in front of these fucking cameras when you know that there are rooms that don't have them. No. There. You can lay over here if you want. What does it want me to post? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry. Oh, you're a very sharp sushi. Oh, okay. Thank you, okay. If you're moving, then I'm putting this back. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. Oh, okay. So it's like the way blood darkens as as it dries. The paint darkens to blood color. Is this all really blood? Of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep up with someone like that. He better fucking try. <laughs> well, let me out of the room now. Okay. 
I've got to uh, go make a beeline or something. And then we will return. I'm actually surprised that I forgot about this thing until I got that coin. <laughs> Damn, one time, yeah. Passport. Wait, it says zero percent chance of duplicate, and is it because I was didn't have to? I didn't know there was a chance for it to give you three. Oh, that's a whole ass sword. What was that? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it gave me another one of these. Um, hand bra. A bra designed to slip your. Des a bra designed to slip over your hand. <laughs> what? expecting when I read hand bra to just you know be like a bra that looks like hands but this is just more confusing this means that it's like a, sh a shirt with like gloves attached basically is that what's going on what does this mean Anyways, we're just gonna... Muramasa. The strongest weapon ever made. It's great for dungeon diving and lets you warp through walls. Of course, it doesn't actually exist in reality, so... I know this is a reference to something. What is... I gotta look this up because I, I can feel in my bones that this is a reference to something.
think it's a reference to the game Muramasa the Demon Blade. Imagine that. Jill likes the hand bra. But Yuko likes the hand bra. What? She's so funny. Um. Can you please explain what it. I need a demonstration. <laughs> so I got another Berserker armor. Silent receiver. A phone that, for some unknown reason, doesn't let you hear the person on the other end and doesn't let them hear you. Is it because it's unplugged? Oh, it's a graduation album. <laughs> it's a magical moment. You know what you write. I hope to see graduation album that someone left behind. The signature pages are all completely blank. Anyone listening to the conversation can hear both. <laughs> I don't think I've got anything else I haven't inspected right well. <laughs> Poor baby. Alright, kneel back to where we were. Toko's there. Yakuza's over there. Kuku. Meow. I feel like it's a touch fucked up that we uh we get a dojo right after we lose Sakura. Oh fuck. So the wrong one is on display. It's extremely Japanese. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Do they use it for training here too? No, not, not okay. Please don't knock over me, Kazuki or Kokonoi. What are you doing? Okay, that works. The room really does look peaceful. Oh, so did I. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wind lockers and keys remind me of super old school public bathhouses. Yep. <laughs> you don't know what you want to do right now, do you? I. Nope, nope, no, no. I was trying to pause again. This isn't gonna add to it. Okay. Turn it back on track.
of your toys, Sushi. Okay. Anna's got her out from behind all the stuff and where she was knocking things around. Back on track. There's an item called Emperor Song. No one loves it before people like it. <laughs> Do not eat the salted. Put this in peace. There you go. Even though this room is completely enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here. And it's in full bloom. Uh, Makoto, there's more than one of those. Hey. It's quite elegant. Is this what you consider elegant? Makoto, this is what most people consider elegant. <laughs> yes, no. Um... I feel like one of my guesses should be he for me. Small one, you are a nuisance right now. Don't chew on that. You were not like this last night. Is it because I had the lights off? I'm not going to stream with the lights off every single time just to appease you. Yakula, Chihiro, Chihiro? Junko and Jill. Uh, Yakula. Are you comfortable yet, Sushi? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't this kind of out of place? You're just going to gloss over the fact that she lived overseas? You're just going to gloss over the fact that she lived overseas. Kyoko, come back. Tell us more. That is the most you have ever revealed about yourself. What are you playing with? Stop playing with it. Yeah. Told you. This is a message for my Lord. Hey, okay. Alright, so the same thing as the other one. Indeed. That target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Are you proud that you can see that? Or are you like proud that you can like read numbers that are on it telling you how many points you just scored? Like, oh, what does that mean? <laughs> That's basically what it just felt like. Oh, I don't think I've seen everything there is to see here. What do you. One of the monitors Monokuma appears on. It seems pretty useless when he's not on it. Actually, no, it's totally useless no matter what. Is that what you wanted? What have I not seen? Oh, no? That's the tree again. 
indeed. Vicky, would you like to? That was so pricey. Kinda of asked Sushi if she wanted to just like get on the winter space that I can make on the desk and she just flopped off. <laughs> <laughs> we found a toy finally. <laughs> I what do you what more do you want to see? I inspected that. We inspected the trees several times now. Probably Kyoko. I expected that. I expected that. Do you want me to look at the camera too? The camera you know is there. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are uh, fuck words. Surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? Cutter. I've already looked at that. I've looked at that. Do I need to talk to Kyoko again? What do you want? Okay. <sighs> what Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? The six smith students lying hidden somewhere in this camp. You know, Makoto, I don't know why you're asking what it means, because this seems pretty self-explanatory of a statement. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, there's a camera right there, goddammit. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? Was she trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important? The mastermind couldn't find out? Makoto. You stress me out, motherfucker. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? Poor daddy. <laughs> yeah, he... He, he needs to... He needs a good old southern bless your heart. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything better than before. Yeah, we're gonna leave the area so that he can figure out what he just heard. What are you? I'm just gonna pretend Hero's not here until I have to talk to him. <laughs> Go into the light, Makoto. <laughs> just to be sure, I should take a look in that tool shed. Just to be sure of what. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. Leaning against the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? Has the boy never been in like a garden shed before? There's a lawn mower here. Even with this here, who's actually going to take care of the lawn? I like that it's called monocooter. There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. Oh, that's actually fresh. Huh? 
there's a there's something carved into this into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Yeah, it is adorable. Like <laughs> I don't recommend um growing the giant plants though. Uh, what is this? That thing is super weird. Super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is that- is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa! And the plant's all like, snap! And your flesh is all like, well, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. I've seen that Hope Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Actually, Anyway, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. You can eat paper, plastic, and even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future of... For, for the future growth of a healthy society. Imagine your final... <laughs> Imagine your final project at the school being a... Making a man-eating plant. That would... <laughs> I, I don't think I'd be able to achieve anything greater in my life. Like that, I would have literally did high school if that was what I had to do. Not that I'd know anything about that myself. <laughs> Spreading more and more nonsense. Monokuma eventually disappeared. Like most other people have been with it. Yes. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. Yeah, surveillance camera, yada yada yada. Is there a monitor in here? Oh shit, there's a monitor. What is this? Is this a chicken coop with the monitor attached? What's a chicken coop doing here? This place even has chickens, huh? They're just. They're just uh, regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. Um. Chickens will eat a lot of things. Um, I bet if they were hungry enough, they certainly would eat a person. Maybe not uh, bones included, but still. It seems safe. I want to pet the chicken. The chicken. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. Is it going to say that for every single chicken? Oh, I think it is. Oh, it's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? The chicken. Oh, that's the same dialogue. What about you? The chicken. It doesn't have like a second form, right? What about you over here? The chicken. It's not going to like lay a bomb, is it? I'm starting to think that when I like click, thought I clicked on this one, maybe I clicked on that one. The chicken. Okay, yep, same. The boy from the chicken goop. Yes, because I think Makoto has lost every shred of sanity he might have had. Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute. And there's exactly five of them here. Well, that's gonna be important later. Exactly. Five! You know, the number that comes after four and before six. At least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whatever, whatever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least thirty percent right. <laughs> it's a number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand squeezed all natural lemonade. I didn't know that was a number, but okay, go off. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. What is this thing? 
There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioner or something? It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. <laughs> we locked him in the chicken room. <laughs> are set to go off every morning at 7.30 so don't don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> of course, the setting panel is locked so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? No, 7.30 p.m. every morning, sir. <laughs> yep, you got it. It's a super, it's super user friendly, which sucks. So if you got here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. What part of this line made you switch to that expression, sir? You're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Or do you have some kind of water bench? I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> Well then. Alright, time to acknowledge you. Yo. Oh, it does? Huh. First I saw, I thought I saw blue skies. Turns out they just painted the walls and ceiling. Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Uh, it wasn't until you said that. Huh? What? Is that bad? Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior, they're always watching. Waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, the they'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Uh, I'm serious. Uh, um, I should have just left him alone and not acknowledged him. I don't even know where I'm going right now. Oh. Hello, darling. I already talked to you. This was the one Biakio was in, right? Just in case. Yep. Bye, Mr. Crab. Have fun, um, playing in the crime scene, I guess. This guy knows, unfortunately, who Flappy is. <laughs> Why does the door just say raw? Oh, bio lab. Blocked. Came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says bio lab. And bio a bio lab that we're forbidden from seeing into. Kinda sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now, but once again, nothing I found seems to make any sense. How does the shutter decide what he's going to say out loud and what he's going to say in his head? I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. Oh, I'm surprised that Mr. Krabs is in here. I figured he'd still be uh, doing weird stuff in the crime scene. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall, and before too long, it would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a hey, don't be a solid post. We gotta think positive. Besides, if what if he's mm, besides, 
even if one more person dies, we can still appeal to basketball team. <laughs> yeah, positive thinking. Way to go, Hina. That's, uh... You tried. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. <laughs> the Meyer laugh. <laughs> Monokuma makes his chicken fillet really bomb. <laughs> A lifeboat hero, too. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. But why aren't you awfully snappy? By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no. Strange is, an, is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm going to barf just hearing you describe it. But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So, in other words, I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Heroes, what? What kind of fantasy world were you living in? I thought I would, I would like to visit that for a moment. Seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The, the awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words. Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope Peak Academy. <laughs> I gotta figure out what sushi just knocked over. Hold on. This son of a bitch. Alright, I'm back. The stream's going guy great. So she had not golf, like a very large pocket knife. Because of course, why not? If that's true. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not awful, not just awful. Super awfully awful. You're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still. How is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? That means they really did cover it up. Dakota. But like, most powerful of powerful people have gone here. You think they can't cover up a very large, uh... Alright. Let's 
say something to Tucker because I don't think she'll talk. Huh? Hey, Yakuya, it seems like Tucker wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, oh, I'd forgotten about that. He was just enjoying her silence. <laughs> I'd completely forgotten that he told her not to talk. Jesus, man. I know you like torturing her, but come on. There we go. Well, Togo, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> you honor me, master. And don't worry, I took care of the other problem. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it? <laughs> Shut up! And don't interrupt the master and me are talking! Um, okay. So, what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was this. A knife? Whoa, this thing is huge! It's like Rambo size! It's a survival knife of some type. But what is it doing in a classroom? How would I know? Very suspicious. What are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not going to do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave this knife lying, just lying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. <laughs> yeah, if she was going to do something with the knife, she wouldn't have said anything to anybody. Listen, more important, now that we have the knife, what are we going to do with it? You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I just don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. Hmm, so what to do? Well, then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? What, me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that. <laughs> that's really all it took. Just two votes of confidence. And he is like, yeah, let's do it. Now, hold on, don't I get a say? It's all clear now. And it shows just how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. That's suspicious, Mr. Krabs. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like you're just using me. Okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. Guess there's nothing I can do now. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Why do I feel like this is going to go in a creepy direction real quick? If he praises her, she is going to explode. <laughs> I still have bad breath. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. We made a valuable discovery. Good job. Uh, I thought she was going to explode in a very terrifying, like, creepy way, but I think she's just going to explode with anger? I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. I that I would ever experience such a dream. Never mind. Is it going the direction I thought it was going to end up going? I'm not reading that.
I'm not reading that either. Whenever I look at Tokos these days, it makes me feel so sad. Uh, I will talk to anybody else. <laughs> Checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to be Sakura's job, but it was no dice. Uh, there were metal plates on all the windows, just like everything else. Yeah. I did not, uh... I did not do that. So I think I think Togo is for sure the bigger simp. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. Are you going to talk about the fucking stair situation? What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? What do you ask? Sorry, Dad. Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Is it bathrooms? Did it have bathrooms? Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? There are no stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. Right. Well, that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, he was right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No. Not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Hmm. Bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature. The final boss or the tyrant or. Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. You're talking big game for a guy who got like total who got his ego totally obliterated by Hina in the last track. Really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No. How I said it was right too. <laughs> I love that he took a blow to his ego for like 20 minutes and then just like completely forgot about that. You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor. And I found more one and I found more than one thing to be worried about. <sighs> a stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. We'll start with a stupidly large plant. Monokuma said that was called a monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. Totally different. That's <laughs> totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from all the ones that live in the pipe, though. Yes, it is different from a piranha plant. From Mario. I was going to go with, um... What is it called? Little Shop of Horrors? I haven't watched it in so long. Any 
anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh, yeah, apparently the spring sp 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 fuck. Apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Yeah, I remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say it is idiot- uh, Fuck words. They say idiots never catch cold, you know? <laughs> of course not. Because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Wait, come on. You always have to- you don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, so that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll ask you I'll answer your dumb question. So, uh what was the question again? Don't worry, you just answered it. Well, that's all the ones in here. Can't go running off me. I'll have to hear what the others have to say. I talked to everybody. Do I need to talk to Yakuya again? Hmm. That strange room on the fifth floor. We can only assume that a large number of people died in that room. So the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words. Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak. If that's true, Naturally. that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. But if that's true, how is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? But, but, what do you want me to do? I have talked to- Did I not talk to Kyoko? No, I talked to Kyoko. Because it, it devolved into a- I feel like the conversation with Kyoko didn't have much in it. Who am I missing? What am I missing? Do I need to talk to Kyoko again? The fire room was the only locked room- was the only room locked to us on the fifth floor. Uh, yeah, like... It's a time I need to talk to <laughs> Fuck. It is. You must have praised me. I could live in this dream forever. Maybe we should leave her alone for now. Maybe we should put her in her room. Let her have some privacy to ride out this thing. Yeah. Anyway, it's settled. You'll be in charge of the knife, Makoto. Well, that, that seems to... I feel like I'm just having the same conversations. Oh yeah, the rest of these. There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? That's right. Five. Five chickens. I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decision. Decision. Oh, oh. Well, how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? Hina, do not eat raw chicken. That's how you get salmonella. I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. I, I mean, I gotta give it to her for her enthusiasm, but for fuck's sake, cook the chicken. You can eat the eggs raw, I don't care. Just cook the chicken. Alright, time for the tool shed. You notice it too, huh? That pickaxe? Huh? What about the pickaxe? 
Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the words crazy diamond had been carved into the handle. Have we seen that phrase somewhere before? I swear, everybody in this room needs to look at him like he's crazy and then just go, Mondo. <laughs> yeah. The race spell switches between Hero and Hina, the, the there with Hina most of the time. Absolutely. Like, Hero has had his moments of genius. I don't remember them at the moment, so I can't tell you what they were. But Hina has had some moments of, uh, dumbassery. Mm. Crazy Diamond. Mm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Um, how have all of them forgotten about Mondo this quickly? Huh? Where? Ah, that's it. I remember. It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. Did he come in with a pumpkin pickaxe? His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would it be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Mondo couldn't get to the fucking <sighs> hero. So we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. Tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, well. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to drink some water. I have no fucking idea. Like, I feel like the most logical reason would be that Mondo had it with him, but why the fuck would he come to school on the first day with a fucking pickaxe? My second thought would be his brother had attended the school at some point. Outside of that, I got no idea. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. How? Hero, how, pray tell, do you plan to call for help with a lawnmower? Call for help with lawnmower. What the heck? I don't know. Maybe we can use it to make crop circles or something. With what fields? <sighs> if there are fields at Hope's Peak Academy, we can't get to them because we're locked inside the fucking building. <sighs> yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well? Now we can use those to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? No. Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. No. What do we feel like going first? Oh, they are all smudgy. There's a, there's a fingerprint right in the middle of my glass. Which finger does that go to? My thumb. Give me a minute, I'm cleaning the glasses. There we go. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. <laughs> well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. <laughs> Yo. So, now what do we do? Hmm. Well. Yeah, that, how would anyone else? How would anyone see the crop circles? That's the problem! <laughs> 
Even if you modal into the garden, that's not the sky above. In fact, Hero is the one that pointed it out that they just painted the walls and ceiling blue. Starting today, you're all under my command. Mm hmm. But I, before we proceed, I need to figure something out. Is it what to do with Hero? Because, like, just feed him to the chickens. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um, so, what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. Joker's that, didn't he? Huh? Kyoko's identity, but Kyoko is Kyoko, right? Huh. Yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, Hiro is the ultimate clairvoyant, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. Uh, more unlucky than lucky these days, but... So, what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Um, now that you mention it, she's never told us. Hmm. Well, Yoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. It's a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? Hmm. We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. <laughs> what do you mean? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. You can't be serious right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. I still have smudges on my glasses. So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. What are you going to do? Torture me? Hmm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. Honestly, she's been the least fucking suspicious out of all of them. What? Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you the key to her room, if you it, um, if she gives you her room key, she can't go sleep in her room. She'll be breaking the school a school regulation. Every time I think I've gone clean, I find a different smudge. Okay, I think it's finally about to go. Okay. Yeah, forcing her into a quarter, but if she has amnesia, then forcing her to talk won't do jack shit. Where did I put my phone? I just heard it. Oh, I think I just like totally uh, skipped over that line. 
And if she doesn't want, want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. After I take that. That's fine. Fine. I understand. Yeah, he without a doubt doesn't believe her. And he is without a doubt still bitter about the last trial because it's not very often you get an ego that big punched and flattened completely. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and said, right up to Byakuya and held out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. <laughs> Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. Yeah, but I... maybe she really did lose her memory. But, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. He really didn't expect that. God, I love when he gets caught off guard. This is the worst school ever. Where only the worst stuff happens, right? Imagine we fit right in. However. Yeah. <laughs> the worst school. Where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? What? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Joko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Joko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only Sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. <laughs> What's her deal? I think you went too far taking her room key like that. <laughs> that wasn't far enough. Toko, please stop saying your uh your taglines for your uh, steamy romance books out loud. Maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. Oh. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating. Ah, it grates on me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... What's Kyoko gonna do now? <laughs> I feel like Hero's next line was going to be something more along the lines of, but you can't just say that out loud to her. And Makoto is just like, I, they were talking about other things. I'm still thinking about Kyoko. Plus, this situation, it's just like before. So different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I... I'm no different either. So can't stop anyone. I don't feel like I need to repeat that scream. Ah. But, um... <laughs> what the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Well, I mean... Cause, cause look! Oh jeez, has he been there the whole time? <laughs> it's you. How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very... Angry! Angry at what? At the thief! You can't separate. And how many times I have to tell you, there's a thief in your midst! What? My precious red sword! Your precious? I love that there's just like a spontaneous voice line for Monokuma. Yeah, 
reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. But what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street! And he's gone. What the heck was all that? Was that all about? He said something about his precious being stolen? Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? It likely has something to do with, with Kyoko. Huh? Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? I mean, my first thought was, oh shit. The knife that Toko took was important to him. Did Toko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Time for Betty Bye. <laughs> Let Gollum can get control of Monokuma. <laughs> As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs die. Uh-oh. We need to get out of here. Let's, we can talk about this more tomorrow. And about Kyoko. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko. I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms. Don't go wandering around. Yay. Not like you need to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then... Let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. That is just right. I need to put away the knife that I got from Coco. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Coco really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? I think I can... No? Hmm? <laughs> he fell asleep mid-sentence. <laughs> As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I see the door guy? I don't know, dude. Why do you keep answering the door in the middle of the night for people? Oh, hello, Kyoko. Kyoko? Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, hey, wait, Kyoko. Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. Hello, Kyoko. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet me, meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Yes. Indeed. Very well. well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? No! She pulled you into one of the two rooms that you know doesn't have surveillance cameras to chat about this fucking weather. Of course it's about something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, Makoto. So does that mean, does it have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? I feel like this, this series of questions should have been reversed. Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... <laughs> You know what? That is half two. I 
sell this. Key? But looking at it, I could tell it just wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma, and it was probably the only key of this kind on Earth. Where did you get this? From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? The lock was broken. What? Oh. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster room for us? I collect your decision. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see again. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. That's right. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets might lay hidden within. <sighs> she did that for us. Sorry with the school regulations to help us. She would already decided to die. So her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to- Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? It is a nice plan. It's, it's like, no very smart. A six-tooth student lies hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a pot. Mm. <laughs> I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her. Yes, I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. Is it dangerous? In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. The mastermind? Who knows? But didn't Alter Ego say the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No. The headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. But I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. Huh. <sighs> But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba really could be the master? I... Worried about him. Worried about that boy. Anyway. I love that she's just, this is just like, anyway. Uh, On to the topic at hand. Anyway. This key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Uh, sure, I mean, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. <laughs> Wait, are you planning on sneaking back in? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And... You want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more, more than one person watching us. Right. Hope they didn't catch us last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Okay. Or, maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. <laughs> Mikoto has his priorities in uh, 
in order, and it's apparently keep people alive first, and shit, this place is dangerous second. Like I said, we didn't get caught last night, but as you said, maybe it was pure luck, which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Joko taught, as calm, as calm, she, uh, mm, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there will have to be a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. <laughs> yeah, his priorities are understandable most of the time. But like you said, sometimes risks need to be taken and Kyoko is not hero. Yeah. She can handle her own. Hero, I don't think I would trust with the lawnmower he so desperately wants to use to create crop circles that nobody will ever see. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail, I don't think you need to worry all that much after all. With minimal restrictions, you're free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the Mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. They can just kill us without a second thought. See, in that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove the hypothesis. Hy hy mm, hypothesis. Yeah, Joko's not the one who broke the door. The one who did break the door is, you know, already not with us. What? In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But, but if you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Yes, ma'am. We know the danger. But if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized... I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Yeah, agreed. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Choco then took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. Well, that's almost. <laughs> Look at her. She ah. If she was feeling it, I doubt you would have been able to tell considering how good she is at hiding her emotions. Yeah. Like, he's awfully confident that he can read her. But, like, she's shown zero indication of him being able to read her. If something happens, I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Please. I want you to hold on to it for me. Um, are we going to lose Kyoko this chapter? I don't know how I feel about that. Fine, I'll hold on to it, just because you asked me to. But I'm going to give it back at some point, you can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, 
Of course. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. I can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? Maybe there's something else? Makoto, the fact that, like, Yakuya at the very least does not trust her. That's because she won't tell him what she is the ultimate for. Why? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I, I can't just forget that easily. Well, then. Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine. I know it. Toka. Talking to myself, I helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma! You can see me, right? Get out here! I've got a bone to pick with you. Then, a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the only one to call me out. Hey! Hey, by the way! Huh? What were you and Yoko getting up to? Going to the bathhouse, just the two of you, in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm, I bet you guys... <laughs> we moved to confirm with local and international censorship laws. All over her, didn't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. What did you say that got that? <laughs> that got that uh, lovely censorship there, Monokuma? Because even what Toko said didn't get that. Even though it should have. You're not going to talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. But I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X rated exploits. So, is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Yeah. Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here. Now, what do you want? Oh, well, um. I didn't know we had any more either. Those were some. That was a fine. It'll probably disappear the next time he talks to any of his classmates. Was this something I wanted to confirm with you? Hey, Whether I'm a mademoiselle or dude fella? But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. Um, actually there is. Seriously? My entire what? What am I? My entire existence! Okay, okay now. I get stuck if I think about it too much. So what do you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? Listen, I... <laughs> Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible at all. Yeah, okay. I read... I, my brain was not reading that right. Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible at all, but... That's seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? I'm being rude. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful. Like how to get the best honey, or ursine breeding tips. Why would we want to know that, sir? Yeah. This is just crazy. 
Are all prepubescent are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? God, you're annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and ah, that's it. What, what was the, the second thing? The blink student. It's a blink stupid secret. Fooling in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words. Monokuma stormed off. <laughs> Whew. I hope I kept Moon Strike from going off. Now all I can do is wait and hope Choco makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Choco after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. <laughs> oh. Well, oh, that's different. I will say, it is kind of strange to me that Sakura has, like, such a small waist considering, like, how much muscle she has up top and down bottom. Like, I feel like she should have a much thicker waist than she has. Life has a revenge. The game world has- the game the world's been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. I can't have that forever. <laughs> hmm, this super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development? Maybe we'll start back up again if Dog and Rafa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends too. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be greeting it with one less student. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. I feel like we probably should have checked to make sure that the knife was still in the drawer. I'm gonna take the mixer and I'm still in the drawer before I leave. And here is the survival knife that Toko found. Okay, good. Why is there nobody just standing about? Are we all already in here? Am I late? Oh, where is Kyoko? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. Do you really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Are you allowed to talk again? I don't recall giving you permission. I mean, since the day had passed, it, 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 it had maybe reset. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll leave a sign for my necklace as bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make those disgusting comments anymore, please. Any more, I promise. I do. You can stuff my mouth full of trash. 
Oh, what is it? You and no one else I don't want? Pogo? Oh. It's no use. He's disgusting to the bone. Anyway, where is Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. Uh, I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... Hello? Oh, yeah, you still have her key, right? Huh, are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? What do you want now? Hey, hey. I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Hmm. Well, that looks kind of hard. It's hard to say. Huh? huh? You don't know either? Why? Because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. He's trying to pride us for our information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bull crap? I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. Looks like Monokuma didn't, really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Or it could mean... Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Would she have been right about that? So, was I right? Are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? Any idea where she might have gone? We have no idea. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. We're serious. Hmm. I see. Sorry. Whatever. I know we were here anymore. Play in Nara, suckers. <laughs> as soon as she was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was that about just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Yeah, it would seem that way. Where the heck because she's gone? Um, Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very yeah, how can he not wor know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Choco must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterward, we returned to our rooms. Huh. Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Are you getting sick, Makoto? Can't go test with Rafio because I've already got his. Oh, speech and trust. Will it let me in her room? Oh, it won't. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody here? They're in the garden. Okay. Hero? Uh. Why is he in front of the bio lab? I was actually thinking about going for a. Uh, either Toko or Hina. I think I'm going to go for Coco. Oh. 
Hi, Mr. Krabs. What, did you need something? Ah, no. Can I, I can talk to him without trying to do the, like, the free time event, right? But will that take up a slot? If I just talk to him without giving him a gift? I guess we're gonna get out of here. Not that I'd have much to look forward to if I did get out. Uh, should I hang with, out with Toka for a while? <laughs> sure. What's your problem? What, more pity? You're just such a good person, showing me all this pity. Can I spend some time with Toka? Toka and I grew a little closer today. Um, why is Toka blushing like that? Yeah, sure. I'll give her a present. I got no idea what to give this bitch. Um, maybe some water. I don't have any water. I was gonna say maybe some water because she's so thirsty. Um. I tried giving these to, um, I tried giving these to, um, Celeste, and she didn't care. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try giving them to, um, Toka, just to see her reaction. Although I don't think she'll like it. You're after it. You, you're giving this to me? I don't think it makes me happier. Whatever, it's more annoying than anything. Don't you feel like it? Hey, I want to talk to you. Oh, that's strange. Toker never wants to talk to me. I thought she hated my guts. What's your Are you problem? listening to me? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Hmm. Just need to clear something up. I mean, I have to clear something. I have to clear it up. Huh, okay, me too. I can I can work with that. So I don't know what opinion she has of me for giving her underwear. What I said before, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? Oh, what did you say? Uh, not having any love in real life. I don't want you thinking I don't have any experience with that at all. Even someone like me has gone on a date. Oh. It's true. I'm not lying. I'll tell you all about it if you really want to hear. Uh... Um, no, it's okay. <laughs> She's gonna tell me anyways. I was in junior high, and out of nowhere, this guy from another class asked me out. Okay, I guess I'm hearing it anyway. He asked me to make plans. For the date, I stayed up all night for three days planning it, and what I came up with was it was our first date, so I wanted to do something traditional. Decided I'm going to say something. What was it? Are you stupid? <laughs> when you're talking traditional date stuff, what do you think it was? On a traditional date, you go see something. What else could it be? It's a movie, honey. Time to go see a movie? Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? You go watch it, and afterward, you talk about it all passionately. In other words, it's ideal first date material. You stayed up for three days, and that's what you came up with? Next, I had to decide. What to go see? Since we were in junior high, we could go see some kids in the movie, right? I wanted to see something really action packed. Yeah, I would definitely like that kind of, like that kind of thing. 
and I, and it, mm, and it, mm, <laughs> wow, okay, hold on. <laughs> Collision coach driver around there. <laughs> no, it doesn't get interesting to me. I, and it could get you both pumped up. So we decided to take out a Seiji Suzuki triple feature. Tokyo Drifter fighting Elegy and branded to kill. It, it was this one for any guy, right? Um, and those are all... You don't know who Seiji Suzuki is? It's world famous for its one-of-a-kind aesthetic, his unique blending of color. Sorry. The killer's the main character, and he gets riled up by the smell of cooking rice. A murder masterpiece. He must be riled up, like, all the fucking time. Although, I'm not gonna lie, that does sound like an interesting, uh movie, uh, subject. Idea? There we go. Idea. Honestly, I think there's probably not a lot of guys my age who have any idea who he is. Ooh. You're right. I learned that fact the hard way. He must have hated it, because he, he disappeared right in the middle of the first movie. What? He just left? After you put all that effort into planning everything out? That's awful. Well... It is what it is. Besides, I found out it it was a, just a dare anyway. A dare? Yeah, he lost his vet with one of his friends, so he had to go out on a date with me. And there I was, spending three days to come up with something for us to do. This is all your fault. You made me remember that terrible trauma. My fault? You like humiliating me that much? Is that how you get the stick? I finally found the real you. But no, I, I, I can't be around your perverted fetish and you and your perverted fetish anymore. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm burning with hatred. Toko glared at me before stomping off. Okay, seriously, now she's gotta hate me. <laughs> I parted ways with Toko and went back to my room. I don't know why you went all the fucking way back to your room because you were about to go all the fucking way back up to that fifth floor and talk to Hina. Mm, I feel worse than I. I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead, and now I'm getting chills. How the fuck are you getting a cold? This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. I like that pretty much everywhere they go, everywhere Byakuya goes now, so does Togo. Oh, Hina. Okay. Never mind, we don't have to walk our happy ass back up to the fifth floor. Hina! Sensitivity is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. Yeah. That's a quote from a famous from the famous baseball player Kenji Yojima. Yeah, totally. I think what he means is that you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. I wonder how strong I can really be. Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? Uh, Hina. Politely. Um. I think you showed just how strong you can be. Because you schemed and masterminded your way to almost killing everybody last trial. You got it. Okay, let's go to the pool. Swim time! Uh, uh, don't stare, okay? Don't worry, I'm pretty sure Toko stares enough for everybody. I don't actually have a swimsuit, just the shirt, and when it gets wet, it 
Kind of embarrassing. Why do you not have a swimsuit? You are the ultimate swimmer, yes? Makoto is just slowly dragging his body through the laundry room. Yeah. <laughs> and she's just like, you know what would be great for us to talk? Getting in that cold ass pool. Speed up that cold boy. Although, I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kind of am. I wonder how come. I went swimming with Hina, who seemed kind of embarrassed. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Yes, I'm giving Hina a present. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The only reason she was in here is she had, like, looked down for even a moment while she was putting that thing back on the shelf. While she was putting things on the shelf and taking them off. Then nobody would have found out. What would I like to give her? Uh, what do I have to give? I have prismatic heart attack. Uh, I have gold diamond. Yeah, she was really good at lying. Airburst, got a war charm, glasses, red scarf, uh, bunny earmuffs. <laughs> I have the hand bra. <laughs> I have her boy doll, shears, layering shears. Adorable. I feel like she'd like the adorable reactions collection. I'm giving that to her. <laughs> Thanks, that's super stoked. Does that mean she likes it? Oh man, oh man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? I can I can work with that. She didn't hate the adorable reactions. How come does it matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. Right. Uh, she got the zoomies. <laughs> Want to know who hate reactions? Yes. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, oh, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. Huh? Hey, you making fun of me? <laughs> The first one feels like a, like, playful I hate it. The second one's like, I cannot believe you did this. No, I'm just impressed. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. No, honey, I think you got ADHD. Emphasis on the H. Super spaz? Yeah, yeah like he's seen you wearing shorts in winter. And he'd say stuff like that. If you lose to the cult like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, he did stuff like that and didn't get sick. <laughs> Meanwhile, Makoto's standing there like, I don't know what I did, but <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> you got it all wrong. <laughs> for the week. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type to get sick easily? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're about to collapse. And she's just like, getting sick is for pussies. <laughs> That's like, yeah. See? You're soft. You need more training. Okay. Okay. I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you as fit as a fiddle. It really is hilarious timing. But what kind of remedy? Actually, I do this myself every morning. You strip down to your waist. You take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. Well, that's Hina. I 
call it? I call it a... What do I call it again? A way to keep a healthy... A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin? Let's take a shot at this. Um, towel treatment? Sure. Is it something like towel treatment? You got it! <laughs> oh, this is so adorable! If she is, if she is for sure going to him suffer even more right now. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's it! I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting a good rub down. Wait, so you went on the... Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? You should give it a try. You haven't got, got your health. You haven't got anything. Her face is so fucking adorable. You I hate to see you catch a cold or something. <laughs> Poor card. <laughs> I hate to see you get a cold. He's <laughs> just like... After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. You're just gonna... It is? all. Why are we getting ominous music in my room? <laughs> I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of... Heavy. I can't help it. I need sleep. My time wasn't for a while, but it felt like my body had reached its limit. <laughs> really, yeah. As I dropped onto my bed, I, it I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. But it was more like my consciousness went dim. I weave back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say... I was restless. <laughs> At some point I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. That voice. So familiar. Bitch, isn't that your own voice? <laughs> sleeping sunny. I mean, sweating it out is a way to get is a uh, a way to get rid of a fever, I guess. That understand. It's me. Yeah, really not. Straight to the laundry room with that thing afterwards. It's just me here. Um, Makoto, what is your fever dream doing? Huh? What am I trying to say? Oh, oh um, yeah, sure. Makoto, do not listen to your fever dream. What are you doing in my dream? What? It was a dream just now. Oh, strange. This is why you shouldn't have kept the knife in your room, motherfucker. I mean, yeah, you had no choice, but, like, you could have tossed it somewhere along the way.
Is this like the same uh, one that knocked him out in the room? Wasn't that the same mask? <laughs> you kind of wake up and assume that was part of the fever dream, I'm assuming. Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending, happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. Abnormality is as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. <laughs> I love how sometimes the Monokuma Theater has like this rambling story that doesn't really have a point, and sometimes it's just short, sweet, and to the point. But I mean, there is no point. So short, sweet, and to the round. I look if good luck ended the moment he got accepted as the lucky student. Uh, it took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. <laughs> I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. <laughs> the chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. <laughs> he really did just sweat out that thing overnight. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also... The dream I'd had. I like that he just like sitting there thinking to himself. So basically, if you were the camera in this room, you just hear the dream I had. <laughs> Silence before and after. <laughs> what in the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever and I couldn't quite get to sleep. And I, I heard a voice I didn't really understand. And then... His eyes are especially pretty in this scene. All of a sudden, I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed, wearing a mask? And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them des desperately, feverishly. After that, things are black again. The next thing I remember, Coco was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? I mean, you could check to see if the knife is still in the drawer. I open the desk drawer and... Uh, huh? 
It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside. That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife from Toko in here. Wait, that means... Here we go, Makoto. Piecing things together, little by little. The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. Liberia? Yep. <laughs> it's gonna so well. It's only gone so well because we have interacted with Jackia very little. I didn't know we weren't going to be interacting with Giacchio a lot. I just expected to fail that immediately. Hey, Makoto. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure, the sky's blue. Uh, uh, hey, Kiva. Um. Where is everyone else? I'm gonna go for here. I don't think I need to do anything. In oh. Can't go around with me. I have. We could have heard that when we talked to her the first time. Um, you really have me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Weren't worried. I mean, <laughs> I have to say, um, her at, her being worried about us <laughs> because we didn't. Oh, I can feel the hiccup. You were wondering apparently what I felt was yawn. But like, after yesterday's free time event, <laughs> her being the one to be like, I was worried about you. <laughs> Just a lot of funny little coincidences there. Yeah, remember at the nighttime hit? We all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, where were you going? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come get me? Did something happen? Um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else. They can tell you about it. So, is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? That's right. Oh, yeah. We stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost that rock pepper scissors, so I had to come get everyone for... Go get breakfast for everyone. Okay. You got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? I could teleport, but why would I when I can just stroll along and stop by a gotcha machine on the way? Yeah. <laughs> I know the odds are really good that I'll get a duplicate, but I still gotta try. Yeah, I can work with that. Is 
Sweet early sushi. Torch works too. I always went in the wrong direction. All right, you need this. This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your own, of your son, and your own funeral all at once. Why? She needs to show up now like it's no big deal. Were you worried about me, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Just like Tina said, everyone was here besides Coco. And then I noticed they formed a circle around uh, something. As soon as I saw what that something was, what the? Hard to catch myself. I cried out. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? Not the. Jeez. Um. Is Junkie hiding something away in one of his pockets? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. The amount of, like, disbelief and distress in Makoto's voice there was gorgeous. So, I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's the one with the fingers. <sighs> Relax. There's no danger. You say that, but what is this? What are you guys doing? Uh, I'm, it, what? It looks like it's been professionally disassembled. How is that possible? Tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Seriously, what were you thinking? How can you say tear apart something like that isn't dangerous? It isn't. What do you want us to say? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle it. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto. Because I like. Because that's how much I like you. I wish you didn't. Hmm. You know, found this little fella lying around. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. Why? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try to talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited here. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma lay there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. 
Master Stroke of Genius. Chance to find out what made Monica a tick. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. Leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So he did, if he didn't break down, then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. Can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> they were probably so scared of the master. They ran away as terror. <laughs> or maybe they got sick or something? But Monica made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. Set to a timer and plays as necessary. Yeah, I mean, I assumed it was a recording, too. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey, hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. I just found something. What is it? Well, um... Hero, soon you won't have to worry about it. <laughs> it's what? A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. <laughs> That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sister. Assist mo mm, motion sensor. Sense talk, word. Motion sensor. <laughs> Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. <laughs> yeah. We don't know how to get players for, bas for a basketball team. Not gonna lie, prior to uh, this stream, I didn't know how many players were on a basketball team. I, I don't do sports like that. M motion sensor for serious. <laughs> Starting to get all shaky. Hey. Get together! You're a man, aren't you? I'm oh, fine. I'm totally fine. <laughs> You're so not fine. You're all... Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. Uh, God, you're the world's... You're like the world's most spineless squirm of the century. Come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call me the don't call the race already. <laughs> Whatever. Just hurry it up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it's not gonna do any good. Not gonna do anyone any good. Yeah, he totally did that on purpose. Uh, um, oh, yeah, good call. Well Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. You're gonna put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. The eye, my eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden? Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? Do you expect that? <laughs> but what could that have been? When I thought about it, I can't help but think back to the night before, being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't do huh-us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Oh, yes. Okay. I am so down for his voice dripping with smugness. That's a no. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? Uh, do you really want me to answer that? Sorry. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Actually, you don't have to break in there. 
I got good news for you there, buddy. Really? That's correct. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now their chance. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> but if the mastermind comes back while we're in there, if you're scared, you're welcome to try and stay here by yourself. Or go live in chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Such ignorance. I gotta say, that is a pretty good, like, insult there. This is a battle. A fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else. But we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away, or are you going to fight? Uh, you're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear now. Somewhere along the line, we should probably tell them the headmaster's office uh, got unlocked by Sakura. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. How will you anywhere, master? To all the ends of the earth? Sakura, if you could hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? Oh, you can't say that. I can do this. I'm a man and I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. each feel determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room, on the fourth floor of the school. Wait, don't tell me Mon don't tell me Makoto has forgotten that that Kyoko told him that it was unlocked now. Feels so short. Just make sure you, you don't get in his way. Okay. Uh, I'm going to talk to someone slightly more normal. Okay. Someone's going to be watching over us. So we're definitely going to find something to help us bring this to an end. Hmm. We finally reached the climax. So let's hurry up and finish it before the mastermind catches us all. I feel like I'm getting shorter as I walk. This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Is everyone ready? Sure, but why am I like... Same height as your like... Hip bone. Actually, no, I'm shorter than that. Let us begin. It's locked, as expected. Wait, how is it locked? So, what are you gonna do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but the rules say... It would seem that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we were in there... So, in other words... We will just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but what? we've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed. This was what we have to do. So we have to do it. Uh, <laughs> beautiful. I mean, serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed? Oh, so oh yeah, the pickaxe! As you see. Hold on, because I think they should just knock the knife off again.
Sushi can want the knife all day long. I do not trust Sushi with the knife. Give me a hard part for a broke it. It's possible the mastermind was able to fix it. I guess all you would have to do would be to replace the doorknob. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Now then, Coco, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock. So it's probably 9 o'clock on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay. Go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. Straight up unreasonable. I, 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 by myself? Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, me and you time, Master, then yeah. Watch. You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll... <laughs> Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Unacceptable! <laughs> oh, and off we go. With that, took over and off. Out of the herd of rabid elephants. God damn. I'm like. That was a hell of a threat. For serious though, are we just gonna knock this door down? No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's like, we can't move forward by always avoiding danger. Yeah, he is. We know the danger. But if the risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Hey, um... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I have six minutes I can hardly talk. I'm all flub, flub, flub. No, I'm totally flub, 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 flub. <laughs> Cross, <laughs> where'd that come from? Wait, uh, did I say Jill? Where'd you come from? You called for me, so I appeared. Hello, hello. It's the wonder, wonderous, or what, wonder, what? Uh, mm. It's the wonderous, murderous, mur murderous, Thing here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. <laughs> come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I'm not supposed to pick an axe. No, you sleeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Sleeping imbecile. Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barb. <laughs> Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, seriously, though, did you forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega three fatty acids. That's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. But I. I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. Please. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we solved one mystery. That means there's one, just one mystery left. Just one, one more mystery? Please. Yep. Please. Now we need to figure out the identity of Object X. Neil, yeah, what are you talking about? Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. You've gotta be kidding. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What did you find? Oh, hello. Corpse? <laughs> what? You oh, corpse. <laughs> did you hear me? I said corpse. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> a corpse? Yep. That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. Ow. You found a corpse in the garden. Well, what did you say? well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we might have something else to look into. Apparently. <laughs> everybody's, almost everybody's here and accounted for, so. Come on. 
We're going to the garden. Okay. See, I told you. I kind of was going to lose the spine the next time we talked to his classmates. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Yeah, Kyoko is MIA, and that's not Kyoko. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What, what the? Are they really dead? Uh, for sure, but... Uh, who is it? Okay then. Just to make things clear. Last night, I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever it was, you know, they're... Uh, I don't know why, but I... But you now they're laying dead in front of me. <laughs> I told you, there's a corpse hanging out here. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Uh, I guess we'll start with this. We need to find out who this actually is. There's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. She always seems, like, devastatedly surprised that there's a body. I want to live in whatever world she's living in where she's not seeing death all the time here. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. Those are some nice shoes. The victim is a total mystery. The one thing I do know... Is that whoever it is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they in how did they wind up dead in here? Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped. But the blood that's still there is is that but the blood that's there is still wet be careful you don't touch it and get some on you how can you be so calm in a time like this who is it their face and body are all are all hidden so i don't have a clue pretty sure it's a girl at least oh huh? how can you tell well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of her body. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be. <laughs> okay then. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, no. But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out toward the mask, and in the next instant. <laughs> Sorry, we should have been expecting that. There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It, it blew up. It blew up. It, it, it blew up. It, I'm not reading that all. I heard that recently. <laughs> Jill blasts me off again. <laughs> I like it. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. But then... Hurry up. Put out the fire. My consciousness attempted to float away. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water? <laughs> I like that he had the bucket in his hand and instead handed it off to us to do the dirty work. Come on. Dump the water on it. Oh, okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. What do you mean you... You know what, I'm not going to ask questions. Thankfully, it was that was enough to put out the fire. 
outside now, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. I'm going to work the hell, man. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of. You're, you're absolutely right there. It exploded? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body. Oh, hello, Sushi. Oh, thank you for pushing things out of the way. Yeah, I guess that is one way to get rid of evidence. It's burnt to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Who isn't here right now? Huh? We consider who's not here. That will quickly narrow down who it must be. There's only one person missing. It's Joko. Joko. Then that dead body is Joko? Let me move this before you just fall off the desk again. No, that can't be right. Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, but I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. Other yeah. <laughs> the mastermind. What? The mastermind? Come on, there's no way. The mastermind got charbroiled. Get serious. I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that uh, that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But the corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. Where did we say the court? Where did we say that the mastermind is not a girl? I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may well may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. And according to the files, the master is a man. Is the headmaster is a man in his late thirties? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> It is possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. He's just a mastermind of some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then that... Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? Uh, Kyoko... <laughs> Makoto, you're talking out loud. I don't know if you know this. They do not know that she told you this. The ultimate despair? Uh-huh. Mukuru Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. There's another student here. And it's female. That would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, would doesn't it? it be... Can I point out that like they have not at all considered that the body um was disguised as female? Like they haven't even considered that. 
Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? Well, we know how she ended up burnt to a crisp. We don't know how she ended up dead. None of this makes any sense. To just suddenly show up and then die? I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. <gasps> ah, hey, wait. What? What? Um. Now, aren't we forgetting something? You know, mm, Toko? Oh, yeah, she got <laughs> They just completely forgot Toko existed the moment she went flying. Oh, yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Uh, forget about her. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. <laughs> oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. Oh, what just happened? Master? You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. <laughs> oh, then I don't mind breathing you. <laughs> I got it. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, look, the knife. I got it. Makoto. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Well, now that it's not going to blow up on you, yeah, sure, you can take a closer look at the body. Oh, um... Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. Hmm? There's something next to the body that's it's a key? Oh, that's definitely a key to the data room. Why would you design a key anywhere to any other room that looked like that? It looks like it's the bio room, but it looks more like it's designed for the data room. Is that what Kyoko took from Monokuma? What did you steal? Sorry. I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of this kind on Earth. That's right. The key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is... What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So, even you don't know then? Makoto, why would he know? He... What is... I need to know... I need to know his logic there. Like, Yaku is smart, but he doesn't know everything. <laughs> He doesn't know every detail about this place, or you wouldn't still be in there. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Is it shutting the fuck up? Because sometimes I feel like it should be shutting the fuck up. Huh? The key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. <laughs> you know what, true. You mean... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. Oh. How do you know there's dorm rooms on the second floor? Because I don't think we unlock that stairwell. It's in your hands. Do I hear Aaron going now? Sweet! What happened to me investigating the rest of the body?
my god. You're over here following his orders like a good little boy and he's not even going to pat you on the fucking head later. Where's the, where's the lab? I just walked in a big ass circle. No? This way? But why does it say raw? My lab was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key I'd found in the garden in the he keyhole, the key isn't even close to fitting. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think Makoto likes being ordered around. With no reward. Like, at least tell him he's a good boy or something. I mean, the key doesn't go to this room. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's for the day. Wait. I have a map. Pretty sure it's for the data room. Uh, data room was down here. Data room was down here. Yeah, and like, that Coco exploded from it. The door to the data center was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. I went to insert the key I found in the garden in the keyhole. Yeah! Fuck yes, I was right. It did! Is this the key? Yes, very good, Makoto. Thank you for stating the obvious. So this is the key to the data center. I'd managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden. Could have looked in there or anything first. You're back. So how'd it go? I found which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we can get into the data center now? Interesting. Why did the now deceased have a key on them? I suppose we'll have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. The looks like the door's still unlocked. Why would it have suddenly relocked itself, Makoto? Um Okay, so when you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? Um, you're asking that question now? Hmm. Don't worry. We have Makoto. So willing to sacrifice us. What? In other words, it's in your hands. Again? Hmm. It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. <laughs> he's just trying to be a, he's trying his best to be head empty, no thoughts in case he does die during this. With a silent prayer, I slowly open the door. But nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. Oh. In a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. Th th this is... The direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. 
and they're displayed here on these monitors. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. D to watch us? Then this room is the mastermind's private room, without a doubt. Actually, judging by the way this thing is lit up, is set up, you've got the, the mastermind has a uh, not a lot of privacy. There are several desks here, and I doubt the mastermind is using every single one of them. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind is here, watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Huh? Hmm. The body in the garden. If they had a key to this room, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. <laughs> then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. For serious? <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before a master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? That, I mean, that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So, who was it that... But if the mastermind is really is dead, that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and find the exit. Come on. No. We have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? But what about the exit? If the mastermind is truly dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set this up set up this life or death game in the first place. And I'm bothered by the fact the mastermind was obviously murdered. M murdered? I, the humor has not connected a couple of dots somewhere in this. So you think this too, huh? Naturally. State of the courts makes it plain as day. There is absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But Why does it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such ignorance. That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you. Now do you understand? You useless insect. You're banned from talking to Master ever again. The mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. This room may very well hold the answer to those questions. After all, the master I must have spent who knows how much time in. How, how much time here? Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity. Uh, uncover the identity of the mastermind. Okay, um, where's my tool? Alright, um, I want to see the door back here. This door's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? Probably the Monokuma box. No, look. The door's locked, huh? But what if you use the key that opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nope. No good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. Oh. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I'm thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. Worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Who is right? The mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. I think I'm going to... I'm getting really sleepy. Uh, I think I'm going to save and pick up uh, next time. Never, it doesn't make a sound, so I'm never convinced that it's actually saving.
ਹੈ